Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, this video is the continuation of my previous video. There we had discussed about the uh, spring MBC interceptors. So in this video, I have created a project uh, which is just the uh, replica of my previous video. Uh, there we had uh, explored about uh, something is called custom editor in a spring framework. And here you can see these are the I have an index.jsp which is basically displayed when I run this project then basically this is a home page and once this page comes then user has to click on the register here then uh, just we we are calling a request handler method who is having the URL pattern as slash register so if you look into the my controller class then here is a method who is having a URL pattern as slash register with get method so basically that returns the, returns the logical name as register so basically finally uh, when user clicks on the register here then register.jsp is getting forwarded and once user fill this form and when clicks on the register button then just we are call calling a method with url as slash register success uh, with http method post and when you look into the controller this is the method matching with this combination right so in that case login success is getting called and whatever data we are filling in this form register register.jsp that is getting populated in the uh, student class with the help of model attribute annotation right and at a time just we are passing the binding result as an argument to this method uh, or if any uh, data binding errors occurs then then those errors goes into the binding results and here we are checking if some error occurs then just we are forwarding the register.jsp again there we can display it, error message and if does not occur any error if data binding occurs successfully then uh, uh, then flow will the will be continue and register.success.jsp will be forward to, forwarded to the client and here we have created a method as a common data and there we are adding a uh, model data with different keys uh, in this model object and basically as we know that when uh, when application startup itself uh, call will go to this method and this data will be this data will be added in this model and that that is ready to use on any JSP in our application right so basically this data we are just accessing uh, with this key from our on our ui uh, especially on the register.jsp so you can see this is the format we are just accessing so in real scenario you would want to access this data from the database right here i have just hard coded so using this application just i am trying to i will try to show you how uh, how uh, basically the interceptor box in the spring mbc so here in previous video tutorial we have already discussed how we can implement interceptor in a spring framework so here i have created my own interceptor by implementing a handler interceptor method so as i said when you when your class implements this interface then this interface is having a three callback method so these are the three callback method like pre handle post handle and after completion so these are the requests i mean callback method you will have to override in your class and uh, as we discussed uh, pre-handle method basically pre-handle method is called before the actual handler is executed but the but the view is not generated yet now second method we have a post handler post handle post handle is called after the handler is executed and finally we have a after completion after completion is called after the complete request has been finished and view was generated so here if i run this application uh, so let's run this application see how this callback method is getting called uh, here basically just i'm uh, printing a message which will go to the log file itself uh, which will go to the eclipse console right but in real scenario you can have uh, some kind of business logic which you want to would like to process before the executing your request handler method right 
so when I click on the register button then before hitting this method if you want to do something in this callback method and here you have a request uh, HTTP server request HTTP server response and uh, third object so these are the parameter you can use to do some processing before the uh, actual handler method gets executed so that's the use of uh, pre handle now once your request handler method gets, gets executed executed then uh, and this page is getting forwarded to the client then uh, you can do whatever you want to do so that's the name of post handle and once uh, requested page is getting displayed to the uh, user right then finally third uh, uh, callback method is getting called after completion right so let's uh, try to run this application see how this execute and once you are define a uh, interceptor then this interceptor you will have to register in your configuration file uh, like this so here if you go to the my spring web configuration file then you have an interceptor mbc it's a xml namespace uh, make sure that you have a xml name namespace on the top then only you will be able to access so mbc colon interceptors it starts here and closing here here you can define this interceptor as a, a simple bean and then this will your interceptor will be active so here you can see uh, my okay let me i think i have closed the home page so if i run this application then i got the home page right and once we click on the register here then as per our design uh, our request handler method is going to invoke whose uh, url pattern is slash register with get method and this is our method right who is responsible to basically forward the register.jsp to the client so let's click over here then you can see the sequence so first of all pre handle interceptor is called then post handle interceptor is called after after completion interceptor method is called this is the order of execution of the uh, interceptor method right and once we fill the data like I'm going to fill the name education uh, gender male and let's select hibernate and sublet as a technology and let's suppose city i'm going to select Pune, uh, delhi and let's specify some fake phone number and here you will have to enter date like this 2017 june and 25 is the t and if you click over here then see this interceptor is again executed for the this call as well because if you look into the configuration file then here this is going this interceptor is enforced for the all requests which is coming from our application if you want to uh, if you want to customize it for the specific url then you can, will have to do something like this mbc interceptor and here inside the mbc interceptor again you have a tag is called a mbc interceptor so if you have a many interceptor then inside the mbc interceptor you can use this tag to configure all interceptors and inside this you can define bean so here bean is nothing but the it's a bean class you will have to define so simply you can copy and paste this guy and one more thing you can define inside this is called something is called mbc mapping and here you can pass the path for that you want this interceptor to be enforced so if you specify slash register then this is gonna call only for the method who is having the url pattern as slash register right so but uh, if you configure your interceptor like this then this is uh, all uh, all uh, callback method is going to execute for the all uh, all request handler method right if you want to narrow down it then you can do something like this so i hope you enjoyed learning this video so thanks for watching this video 
and this code I am going to put on the GitHub and GitHub location I will specify in the video description. If you have any query or any question then please do post below to the video. I will try to answer those queries and thanks for watching this video.